All right, what's going on, guys? Now, honestly, I was supposed to maybe do about two or three videos when I got home, but I was super tired, not feeling too well. But then it hit three o'clock, and we just see this this crazy news that came out about LeBron for possibly even giving the Warriors a chance to entertain them to to try to sway him in the off season. Now, uh, sources, I guess this is Chris Haynes' source. He's the guy who posted the article to ESPN, which I'm reading it off of. It says, if the Golden State Warriors can create a max salary slot this offseason, the defending NBA champions could position themselves to secure a meeting with LeBron James, a league source told them. So, um, it wasn't confirmed. It's not, no sources had told them that the, the Golden State is evaluating such options, but they're saying that LeBron will listen to him. Out of respect for the Warriors winning coach and LeBron James will listen to the Warriors offer and explore the uh explore and hopefully they'll ex the Golden State will explore ways to clear the necessary cap, which I don't think could happen, man. You got Clay getting eighty million. Dr I think Clay and Draymond both around eighty million. You got Curry just paid him like what did they give Curry? Uh 200 i think he got like two was it like 256 or something like that it was something crazy it was in the 200 million range so um he just gave curry the money then you got kd who i think is on easy though on a one oh curry had got a uh 201 million dollar deal over four years so um that's a lot of money 50 <laughs> that guy's touching 50 million uh per per season so uh, you take that into account, and then you still got KD, who I think they would love to have back. I think they would take. <clears throat> uh, I think they would keep resigning KD, who who took a two year deal, so for fifty three million. So that's a lot of that's a lot of the cap, man. They would have to literally, if they f was to find any way to sell LeBron to the max, these guys would probably have to restructure their deal. Probably Clay or Draymond. Um, Curry's definitely not restructuring his deal. KD, I can't see him doing this since he's uh he's like arguably the second best player in the NBA, but um I can't see that happening. So LeBron, they will have to freaking sign all D League players that just gonna sign for the minimum. But that lineup would be crazy. I don't think it's any way that LeBron does that. That would just hurt his legacy. And honestly. Right now, we heard LeBron already say he's chasing the ghost, man. If he if he wants to even have a chance to pass Michael Jordan, which I think the only way he can do that, he has to like just run off six straight finals wins, which the Warriors could probably do if he was assigned with the Warriors. But that's the only way I can see that happening. I don't think it, but that would hurt his legacy. All man, if he does that with the Warriors, man, it's not it's not there's no point to even watch basketball next season. So. Uh, I don't think LeBron would do that, man. That would destroy his legacy. Honestly, he could lose. He could lose five. He could lose the next five finals in a row. If he was to go to Golden State and win six and win uh six rings, and six back to back to back to back to back. If he was one of those back in that order, man, that will hurt his legacy even more than losing the next five rings. So I mean, next five uh finals. So. I don't see any. There's any way that he does it. Honestly, what I'm thinking is my conspiracy theory is LeBron had his team, his team of guys leaked this to the to the media, but to put the pressure on the Cavs and Dan Gilbert and Kobe Altman to make that trade, get rid of that that first round draft pick, and get uh, and acquire either DeAndre Jordan with it and Lou Williams because they need to make moves right now. They're struggling. Kevin Love is out six to eight weeks right now as well. So they need something right now to put them over the top. I don't think they want to fall, fall from the top four seed and have to play a uh, possible game seven on the road if it if it was to ever go that far in any of the series. They're going to make the playoffs, even with Kevin Love, out for some time. Um, they're still the third seed right now in front of the Miami Heat, who they just beat. So that was a, that was a cute, huge win for them. But honestly, man, I just think LeBron and his team planted this story. I'm not I'm not gonna really buy into it too much. I'm not believing anything that has to do with LeBron going to the Warriors, man. So uh that's just how I'm feeling about it. Um let me know what you guys think, man. Is there any crazy conspiracy theory you have behind this this story coming out like me? So that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. 
Um, I will be coming back with uh, more video video content. I just did this one on the audio because I was too lazy. I'm kind of tired right now. This video is being recorded at 4 in the morning. So, oh, hopefully you guys enjoy, man. Uh, definitely subscribe. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. and Give it a thumbs up. And I'm out. Peace.